Shopify Payments Test Mode. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. In today's video I'm going to show you how you can activate Bogus Test Mode or the Payment Method Test Mode into your Shopify store. So basically we are going to activate this so you can go ahead and set up or test up some of the um, uh, let's say here payments that you're going to implement into your store see if everything is going to work out within the checkout also the cart if it is going to um, slide well it is going to be very simple and very easy we are going to head over uh, shopify.com sign in for the admin dashboard and as you can see we are in now what are we going to do basically is to visit the settings we're going to head over here click settings from the settings, we are going to see everything about the settings. Now we are going basically to click on payments only. Select payments. Now, the first thing that you're going to see here is going to be the payments. We have the primary payment method and also the secondary payment method. For the primary, it is going to be named payment providers. For the secondary one, it is going to be uh, here, supported payment methods, which is going to be the secondary. So you can go ahead and add PayPal or add other payment methods if you want by the provider. Now, in our today's video, we are going only to focus on the primary payment method, which is going to be here. So we are going to click on select or choose a provider. From here, as you can see, we have tons and tons of payment methods. But here we are going to set up the testing as you can read bogus getaway for testing. We are going to activate the bogus. So as you can see, we are going to have here uh, set up everything. So if you're going to have the uh, bogus activated for testing, you're going to get 2% fees for testing. Uh, transactions uh, is going to be billed monthly. Basically, what is this uh, feature is going to be used for? To stimulate or simulate an approved transaction, to simulate a declined transaction, or to simulate a getaway failure. So you're going to set up any three card or three number of cards that you're going to put for the security code, and it is going to be uh, okay. For the, um, let's say here, expiry date, you need to set up a date for future only. I'm going to activate the bogus, just like that. Now we are going basically to visit up our store and make a checkout. So I'm going to visit this store and we're going to set up this product, for example. So I'm going to have this product and we are going to buy it now or add it to the cart click on checkout now we are going to set up for example here the delivery and information and as you can see we have the b for the bogus which is going to be in here so basically you are going to set up the card number any card number and you can go ahead and add the, here whatever you want expiry date is going to be uh, a future date for example here we are going to be on april 28th we're going to have it as let's say march um, 2025 and security code you can go ahead and put any three numbers name and card also is going to be a random click on pay now and you're going to get the things done that was pretty much it for today's video thank you guys for watching i hope that you have enjoyed the content and i hope to see, see you in the next one